Rabi Wallet. Now they have just launched Rabi Points, which is a way for you to earn points for using their wallet, which means there could potentially be an airdrop. Now Rabi Wallet is the best wallet out there when it comes to EVM wallets, significantly better than MetaMask, and I have been using it the last few months, as you can see, because I earned a lot of points when they did the snapshot. Now, even though a lot of points have been distributed, you can still get some points for that potential airdrop, and I'm going to show you how in this video, so stick around until the end. We're also going to go over how to set up Rabi Wallet and all its amazing features. Now, I'm kind of talking it up. This video isn't sponsored. I just really use Rabi Wallet. That is my go-to now. Now that I know that it's compatible with all the dApps that already use MetaMask, and I don't have to use MetaMask anymore, so my crypto life is a lot safer and more convenient, as you'll see in this video. I'm Dan, let's get started. So let's start off by setting up our Rabi Wallet, and if you're coming from MetaMask, it's also very easy. So I'm just gonna copy the link to the official Rabi underscore IO Twitter account. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add a new Chrome profile. So you can kind of see there, I do got a lot of profiles depending on what I'm doing. But if you're doing a lot of crypto stuff, having multiple profiles is amazing because you can have your bookmarks and plugins and Chrome extensions all customized per profile. So I'm going to continue without an account and we're going to call this uh, MetaMask Rabi test. Then we're going to go to the Rabi IO Twitter account, the official account with over 72,000 followers. We're going to go to the official site, Rabi.io, and we're going to download for Chrome. Now, back at the main website, Rabi is available as a Chrome extension, a desktop application, and not mobile. So if you see a mobile Rabi wallet, it's a scam and that has happened a couple times, so be careful out there. And we went through this route instead of just directly looking in the Chrome store because we don't want to get hacked. We want to go through official channels. We want to make sure that it has at least 130 ratings and 200,000 users. And now that we're ready, we're going to add this to Chrome. So it got added to Chrome. I'm going to pin this to the bar up here. And we're also going to get MetaMask so I can show you how to transfer things over. So we're looking for MetaMask with 16 million users. This looks good. I am in a test environment, so I don't really mind just jumping into things here very quickly. We're going to add this to Chrome. We're going to pin this once it's available. And we are going to set up a MetaMask account because I want to show you how to transfer your MetaMask account over to Rabi. So that's why we're going to need a test wallet. And this is going to show you how to set up your MetaMask. So I'm going to create a wallet. So I'm going to agree to this. I'm going to make a password. It's a very weak password. Um, but yeah, I'm not putting any funds in this, so that's all right. So, you know, we can secure our wallet. You're going to see my passphrase here for this empty wallet. You could use it. You can test it out, whatever, but it's very high risk. And I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, hit next. I made a new notepad and you can see my seed phrase here. So now that I backed up my seed phrase in a very casual manner, you should be more serious about securing and backing up your wallet if you are going to have any significant funds on there. So now we have a MetaMask account and like many people, this is kind of what it looks like. And if we want to get started with Rabi and we could go the same way of creating a new account or we could import our MetaMask account. So now that we have Rabi open, we're going to hit next, get started, and we're going to import my MetaMask account. We're going to set a password here. And Rabi is going to show you two different tutorials for you to export your MetaMask accounts, whether that's using the seed phrase or private key. So since we used our MetaMask with a seed phrase, we are going to import our seed phrase. And then we can just paste it in the Rabi wallet. So I'm going to hit Control C, copy, Control V, paste, and we can confirm it. But we're not going to use that seed phrase yet because let's say you don't know how to get your seed phrase in MetaMask and you already set up your account and you are worried about your funds there, no problem. So we could use the Rabi wallet tutorials and they're going to show us the same thing. And it's basically us getting our private key from MetaMask. So we want to select our account there. The three dots on the right, account details, show private key, put in our password. 
hold to reveal private key, and now we have our private key. So this is a little different from the seed phrase, but it connects us to our same account. So we go back to Rabby Wallet. We are going to restart things. I'm just going to close this. We're going to open this again, and we're going to hit import private key. So now I can just paste that in there, hit confirm. That's my private key. Can name it anything I want. Could be like old MetaMask. That's what it is. And then done. So that's it. And if you wanted to use your seed phrase, you could do that too. The three dots at the top right here, settings. Then we want to go to security and privacy, reveal secret phrase, get started. You have to go through this test just because people get scammed by giving away their seed phrase. No one can help you. Continue, you are being scammed. So now that we have that, you hit continue, put in our password. Hold to reveal, SRP, secret recovery phrase. And then we have our recovery phrase and we can copy that to the clipboard, go into Rabby and paste it in. All right, now that we have Rabby set up, we still have MetaMask. And if you zoom in here, you can see MetaMask is in use and Rabby is banned. We could always flip that, Rabby is in use and MetaMask is banned. So that's because you have two browser extensions and Rabby is taking MetaMask's place by disabling it. But if we don't wanna worry about that and simplify things, we can just remove MetaMask. Now that's not removing the extension, we can just disable it. So I'm right clicking on the MetaMask icon in the Chrome extension area. Then I select manage extension and then we can just switch it from on to off. And now that it's missing from the Chrome extension bar, if we turn it back on, it's back there. All our account information is still there as well. So you can turn off the MetaMask Chrome extension without having to worry about losing your account information. It's all gonna be there but you have to turn on the extension if you want to use it again. Now let's take a tour of the MetaMask Chrome extension. Now you can't really make it a full page, so it's just gonna live in this window, or if you can make it a full page, please let me know in the comments. I, I don't understand how to do that. I couldn't find an option for it. And starting at the top, you can see your portfolio uh, performance. You can see the assets you have on multiple chains. You can select this box and it's gonna show you all the assets you have. This is just a test wallet that I'm playing with. You have the test net balances, cause yeah, I, this wallet I use for test nets and participating in early platforms. So you can see at a glance, it's showing my balance on multiple chains, uh, Arbitrum Nova, Polygon, Ethereum, and if I want to see my NFTs, that those are also available. So I just go to the NFT section and you can actually get a good look at what you have in your portfolio. And if I want to hide my balances, I could just select my balance there and it's hidden. Now, if I want to copy my address, that's right here. And my address has been copied. If I want to manage the wallets I have by adding or removing wallets, and then we can add a wallet by selecting the icon here at the top right. And then we can import another seed phrase or import a private key. Now this is my favorite feature because when you're using MetaMask, it's very hard to import another uh, wallet by seed phrase. It's gonna force you to use a private key. So there are little things that are very frustrating about using a MetaMask and other wallets like that where Rabi's like, yeah, import whatever you have. You can add multiple wallets to your account if you want to. Right now we are at Uniswap. We are gonna connect our wallet. We are gonna connect Rabi, hit connect, and we are connected. Now, my favorite feature about Rabi is that it automatically switches between networks. So let's say we're on Ethereum, we wanna go to Arbitrum, we're on Arbitrum. If you were using MetaMask, you would have to confirm the switch between networks. With Rabi, it's automatic. So this is my absolute favorite feature about Rabi, it just simplifies things. It makes the user experience a lot better. I'm switching between different networks and I don't have to confirm anything in my wallet. So you can see here, Rabi has integrated 129 different blockchains. That means you don't have to add that network. If MetaMask doesn't have it, you have to add it manually. Rabi already has everything. It has all the popular blockchains you need as well as a lot of the test nets. 
Because if you want to add a network for a different blockchain, it can be a big pain. You have to research how to add it. And if it is quality information, so you don't get hacked and Rabi simplifies that. That's it. It's just a much better user experience, which is why I can't go back to any other wallet because Rabi has simplified my life. Starting with the other features in the wallet at the top left, we have swap and we can swap between different blockchains that we have available. And you can see that it defaults to the chain where I have the most assets and it doesn't go to any of the chains where I don't have anything there. So by default, it's working a lot smarter and just moving directly to the assets that I have available. You can see it's just populating the assets that I have. It's not showing me a bunch of zero balances that I don't need. And if I want to swap between assets, I don't have a lot of funds on here, but I can. So I can put in the amount I want. I can get quotes. And then if I want to trade, I have to enable these exchanges. So a lot of these are very reputable, like OpenOcean, KyberSwap, 0x, Paraswap, 1inch, all very reputable. So to enable these for trading, we just hover over one of them. And since we have the best price here, uh, this is actually enabled already. I've been using OpenOcean. KyberSwap is a little bit more expensive, also enabled. I haven't enabled 0x, so it's easy. We just hit enable and then we add trade. So we trade, we get a little warning, enable trading. Once enabled, you will interact with the contract from the exchange directly. Rabi is not liable for any risks arising from the contract of the exchange. I understand and accept it. Basically, they're saying, hey, you are using a different platform. We're not responsible for what happens. So now that I have enabled that exchange for trading, we can make that swap if we wanted to. So I would select uh, the exchange I want that's enabled. So you can see these are in gray because they're not enabled. If I select 0x, I can make that trade swap via 0x. I'm going to make that trade and it tells me what's going to happen when I'm signing this transaction. I'm going to pay in Matic. I'm going to receive this other token. This is the minimum amount, the contract I'm interacting with. And it tells me I've never interacted with this before. So those, that's just an additional warning. But the contract has been available for like three years and it is popular. So it's not sketchy. Sign and create and confirm. And that's what a transaction looks like on Rabi. So we just did a swap. If we want to send assets, you can see it defaults to the chains we have available. We can switch between any different assets that are available in our accounts here. And you just put in your address, the amount you want to send and hit send. So that's how you use the send feature. Receive It's just going to show you your address on the various blockchains. Then transactions, so it shows us our transaction history, which is nice. And it grays out all the scam transactions because I'm sure you have a lot of scam transactions if you use crypto and they just appear in your wallet. So you don't have to see those. You don't have to worry about those. You don't have to accidentally interact with them and potentially risk the assets that you have available. So I do love that about Rabi. Then we have gas top up. So I really like this feature. Now, instant gas top up. That's top up gas by sending us available tokens on another chain. Instant transfer as soon as your payment is confirmed without waiting for it to be reversible. Basically, you're bridging between blockchains almost instantly. It's, it's just like, hey, we'll give you the credit. You just give us some assets on this other blockchain. We'll give you gas on the one you need. So if I want to top up my balance on Polygon, you can see I don't have a lot of funds. So the lowest amount I'm eligible for is $20 at the moment. I hit continue and then it says select payment token. And then I can use my Arbitrum Nova Ethereum balance to top up my Polygon balance. So basically uh, I am going to be getting $20 in Polygon, but I'm paying $24 in fees to do that. And that's because they're providing the service, but it does make it a lot more convenient if I need to move assets right away. And if things are time sensitive, then we have approvals. So you've probably connected to a lot of different websites and you need to revoke access to it. Now I don't have a lot of things to revoke here. There's nothing. So we're going to go to another wallet of mine. So we're going to go to approvals. And you can see that I have some long term approvals here from the last few years where it's either at least two years old to the last few days. 
So if I want to revoke access to any of these contracts, I can. I just select them all and then hit revoke. Now, I have to pay for gas fees to do that, so just be aware that uh, your balance is going to be lowered because you are paying these transactions to revoke access to your wallet, which does make your wallet a lot safer if you don't trust certain websites. If you're familiar with revoke.cash, it removes permissions you've granted within different contracts, and that's exactly what Rabi is doing, but you can select multiple contracts at once, and there's a button directly for that in your crypto wallet. Now, other features in this dashboard, we can see the current price of Ethereum, we can see the current gas price, we can see dApps. Now, I really love this feature. I don't want to Google for a bridge or anything. I want a list of resources that are credible that aren't scam sites. And that's why using Rabi and going to their dApp section is amazing. So it gives a list of 15,000 different dApps. And if I'm looking for a bridge, I'll just type in bridge and you can see what's available. I am familiar with Stargate Finance. If I am going to bridge between different blockchains, I'll very likely just use that one. So if you're looking for a bridge or you're trying to swap something, and obviously this is way too many decentralized applications, so we can filter it by blockchain. So if we were going to do something a little more obscure and do a swap on something like Flare, this is going to show us the swap platforms on the Flare network that have already been qualified by the Rabi Wallet team. And the same goes for other networks too. So you just have to put in the blockchain that you want to trade on and Rabi is going to find a platform that you can use. And let's say we don't want to search for any dApps. We just want to see what's in an ecosystem. We can just filter by blockchain without using a dApp name. Let's say we want to look into Celo and we can see all the different dApps in their ecosystem. So if you are going to use a decentralized application, you can take out the risk of the uh, Google search results and getting scammed and just use the pre-qualified list of dApps through Rabi. And then we have Rabi points. So we made a swap earlier and we got 10 points for that. We can claim it and the points have been claimed. There's three ways to get Rabi points if you are a new user at the moment. That's swap in Rabi, refer a new user or gas top up. Now, swap in Rabi, that is limited to once a day, so you can get 10 points per day by doing a small swap. I recommend doing a small swap on very cheap blockchains, anything but Ethereum, so you could pretty much buy 10 points every day by doing a swap on a very affordable blockchain. Then you have refer new user. You're going to earn 50 points when the referred user achieves at least 100 points. So they're going to have to do some swapping. They're going to have to do some gas top ups for you to get any points. And then gas top up in Rabi. That's earn 10 points by using gas top up. And there's a limit to once a day. As you saw earlier, gas top up, that was like a 20% fee. For that $20, you're paying $4 to do that, but it is an expensive option. If you are going to farm points on the cheap, you want to do swap in Rabi for very small amounts. Now, at the moment, you can see that 235 million points have been distributed. The top 100, uh, get the person in first place has 100,000 points, where other people have significantly less than 30,000. So if there is an airdrop, I don't think you're going to be too far behind other people in this situation. And that's how you earn Rabi points. Today we learned how to set up Rabi Wallet, importing your uh, wallet from MetaMask, all the different Rabi Wallet features, and most importantly, how to earn Rabi points. If you want to get your full value, just make swaps that are of very low value on a affordable blockchain and that's how you can earn 10 points every day it is going to be a grind otherwise referring people to use rabi and if they qualify you can earn some points as well and that's why i also want to refer you so my referral link is in the description you just type in fvd and you will get some points for using that referral link if this video has been helpful you know what to do and with that i hope you got your full value for today